I'm David Gluck. I'm one of the producers and the general manager of the Speakeasy. And we're here in Sal's office. Uh, this is part of our immersive theater environment. Sal is the club owner, the fictional club owner. I'm the actual club owner. Sal's the fictional club owner, and um, this is where a lot of the scenes in the show take place. Sal is looking for uh, his lost shipment of booze, and he's having an affair with one of the chorus girls, and all those sorts of plot lines play out in here. We celebrated our 100th performance a couple of weeks ago. We're, we're now at 104, and so the, the, the project has changed a lot. The play has changed a lot over the course of those performances. Um, we've refined some of the characters. We've um, written new scenes. We've reorganized the scenes. And sort of the creative arc on this project is the same as it was when we did the Proof of Concept production uh, in 2014, which is we had our best creative minds get together, create a script, create the whole environment, um, and essentially build a toy for the audience to use. And we took our best guess on how the audience is going to use it. But when you actually get an audience in here, sometimes they use the toy very differently than you expect. So then we ad ad adjust and adapt, and we've been making changes the entire time. Over the entire 100 performance run, we've been making changes to make it more delightful, engaging, uh, and uh, clearer storytelling for the audience so that they have a more rewarding experience. So the, the proceeds from the first fundraise were really essential to us. We received them actually after we'd already opened the speakeasy. So we'd finished principal construction. We'd finished the rehearsing, the casting and rehearsing of the play. We, we'd finished building most of the costumes and props. But we hadn't finished um, perfecting the scenic illusion, which is really essential to the success of this project. It was so useful to get that money when we did. We used it on um, theater equipment and finishing things like the beautiful proscenium arch, uh, the lighting system. We have these great um, table lamps in the cabaret that are color changing LED lights and we can flash them in sequence. We can do sort of a story, a, a starry night look. We have, um, we have one character come through the cabaret at a certain time and all the lights behind her turn, change from amber to blue and violet. So she's sweeping through the room in this magical glow. You know, it's, it, it, it went, for the sizzle, one for the bells and whistles that make this place so special. Yeah, we showed great growth during the last quarter. Our paid attendance was up 20%, and we actually condensed our performance schedule as compared to the previous quarter. So the 20% total attendance for the quarter was spread over a smaller number of um, performances. We actually increased 26% on, uh, attendance on a per performance basis which really helped profitability. So profitability grew by several multiples uh, from the last quarter of 2016 until the first quarter of 2017. Our overall ticket sales revenue was up 34% in the first quarter of 2017. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge still is spreading the word. We've had 18,000 people see the show um, and we've done a ton of marketing, but we still feel like there's a tipping point ahead of us. Uh, during our proof of concept, production in 2014, uh, we know that word of mouth was so impassioned that we were able to sell out the, the, the performances up to 10 weeks in advance. And although our sales are very good, we haven't seen evidence of that sort of passion behind the word of mouth. So th those are still really the, the challenges. The challenge is, is, is getting to that tipping point and going over the edge of it. And uh, we're working hard every day to make that happen. The main thing I want to say to our WeFunder investors is to express our appreciation for so many people who have put their faith in this company. Investing in theater is one of the most risky things that you can co contemplate. And we've had almost 300 people now um, invest through WeFunder. And it's great that um, they see the excitement of this project, they see the possibilities, and they've become advocates uh, for us in, in this community and in their communities um, around the country and around the world. So. Really, it's just a, a feeling of appreciation and, and, and an honor to be the recipient of their hard-earned dollars. She loves that too. She's like, we're a theater family. I'm going to work with Daddy. You know, like on Saturdays, we drive in together, you know. You know. It's, it, it, and it's great, it's a great parenthood too. It's, you know, it's one of the things that's made this project m more special for me than any other that I've worked on because my daughter's in it. It's incredible.